Thieves caught on camera raiding a pharmacy, stealing medications right off the shelves. And this is not the first time. As CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports, they have targeted more than a dozen businesses in the city. They smash the glass door and run right in. The NYPD says these burglars dressed in dark clothing have the same M.O. They enter pharmacies while they're closed and are even able to easily bypass a metal gate if they have to. They've broken into 20 pharmacies in Queens, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. It started on July 27th. The most recent incidents happened December 2nd. Police say they work in pairs or more and have fled in a black SUV, a white vehicle, or a gray BMW. They made off with like under five minutes, I believe. Yeah, under five minutes. It was very calculated. They came right in and right out. This pharmacist did not want to show her face. Police say the thieves are stealing prescription drugs. There are uh, scheduled two medications, so like there would, there would be like the Adderall, the Vyvanses, a lot of the pain medications like oxycodone, hydrocodone, all of those medications. Um, some of them were sleeping medications as well. The owner of this pharmacy tells me the prescription drugs were stolen from a locked area and that sales of these drugs would probably net these thieves $20,000 or more. Other pharmacists note the risk in the illegal sale of these medications. Very dangerous because they're not using them for a legitimate a legitimate medical purpose. So we don't know if they could be overdosing or just giving it to people that they know. You're looking at dangers in terms of like addiction and also even death. They say it seems like these have moved on from targeting bigger chain pharmacies, which can afford security guards, to mom and pop pharmacies. Some stores might have weaker security mm -hmm. than a CVS mm -hmm. because simply because we cannot afford to pay for stronger security mm -hmm. mechanisms. If you know anything about the suspects, give police a call. This is a loss to the business and also to the customers who really need the medications. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.